Guys, we're going to try to resurrect this wrench from the dead. Come take a look. In the country that I know No money in what he used to grow No, he don't care what people think When a farmer turns into a hippie Times are hard in Mississippi What's up guys? Today I'm going to try to resurrect this old wrench A good buddy of mine, Bruce Evans, gave it to me um, he knows that I love a lot of old tools and stuff. I pretty much like anything old. So, we are going to see if we can't bring this bad boy back. You guys take a look. Might work, might not. We'll see. Alright, the first thing I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to just get all the loose stuff off of here for the wire brush. And... Then I'm gonna blow it all to the blower. That looks a whole lot better just giving her a brushing. Of course, my teeth use a little better when I brush them too. Got that part done. We'll move to the next step. All right, we got the old crusty, rusty blow off, and I got a plastic bin to put it in. So the thing that I read said you use one tablespoon of salt per cup of vinegar. Let it soak overnight and, you know, that it will dissolve the rust. So, I don't know. We're going to find out. So, when I did a little Googleization, it said that one cup of salt translates to one gallon. So, that's what we're going to try. I think what I'm going to do is try to stir this stuff up first may not be necessary I don't know I've never tried to clean a wrench before so we're fixing to find out we'll learn this together I guess well, some of you guys out there probably laughing y'all got a better more effective way to do it. This is kind of a trial and error thing. Every time I smell vinegar, I think of Easter eggs. So I'm gonna put the salt in here. We'll stir it around like something. Some kind of cooking stuff. Alright. And I've got some more vinegar in case that ain't enough. <clears throat> but we'll see what this is gonna do. Put her down in there. Of course, it only covers about half of it. So let me get my other gallon. All right, that's got it covered. That's about another three quarters of a gallon. All right, guys, well, let's see what happens in 24 hours, and hopefully it'll eat some of the ooey gooey off of this boy. All right, there's my bucket, and we've had it in here for about 26 hours so far. As you can see, it does have a good bit of rust that's come off of it. Um, it's still not where I want it. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out of here and maybe try to brush it off. And we'll put it back in there for another 24 maybe. So uh, we'll go over here and brush it off see what it looks like. 
All right, I got it over here on the uh, table. <clears throat> and we'll see what it looks like with a little brushing. All right, as you can see, it does look a lot better. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick this up or not, but she's starting to show a little color down here and here. So there's hope. I think we're gonna soak another, at least 24 hours would go good with that. So we'll just see what happens. All right, we're back over here to vinegar and salt solution. Let me try to rinse a little bit of that off. As you can see, it's, it's working. It's just a slow go. So we're going to put her back in here. Leave it for at least. Oh, yeah, look at that where I rinse it off. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but... It's uh, starting to show some color back through it. So maybe a good another 24 hour soak in will really help it because it looks a whole lot better now than what it did when I put it in there. I think one more day is not gonna hurt it. And I don't have to be in a super hurry for it. So we're gonna see what happens. So let's give it another 24 hours and we'll check it again. All right, guys, let's take a look and see what happens. This is after another 24 hour soak. You can see the color has really come out in it. And uh, the rust is just pretty much just wiping off of it. So I'm real pleased with that. Uh, I was talking with Bruce Evans today and he does a lot of knife work and stuff. I know you guys have seen the videos and heard me talk about him. But anyway, he was saying um, to neutralize the vinegar and stuff to use um, Windex. So my plans are try to wipe all of it I can off and I'm going to spray it down with Windex. But man, it looks way, way, way better. All right, you can see it's pretty much taken all the rust off of it. Like, I thought this thing was gonna be unsalvageable, but I am really pleased with the way it looks. So, looks 2,000 times better than it did. And that'll neutralize it. Or he said you could use baking soda and water. Now I don't have any baking soda. We'll do the... He said I'd have to oil it right away too, so... Well, Bruce is slick. He knows a, knows a lot of stuff about metal. Now, I got her over here at the old parts washer. Just got mineral spirits in it. What I'm gonna do is just gonna rinse it off a little bit. And then I may put it down in the bottom of a pan and I'll just leave it in here. That way I try to free up the threads on it. That way you can see, like there's pretty doggone clean. But I'm gonna let this thing sit down in the bottom of this parts washer and this solution. And uh, we'll just see what happens with it. Maybe we can break it free and get it moving. I don't figure mineral spirits is gonna hurt it any. So what it is, today's Friday. So I'm gonna leave it over the weekend in there and I'll come back Monday and we'll see what it looks like. All right, this thing's been soaking in here all weekend. Today's Monday. And we gonna try to 
See if we can't get it to move today. It looks way better than it did. Take it over here and just see what'll happen. That thing's froze up pretty good. So we'll see if we can't bust her loose and get it to move. Take a little panther piss on it. See what happens. And the sliding mechanism may work better. It's got a slide here too. I just have to let it sit and think about it a little while. That's about all she's gonna do. All right, I got the whole thing sprayed down with WD-40 also, so it wouldn't rust. It's not a solution. I'm just gonna tap on some of this here. bubbling up out of there. That's doing some good. Little pecker action. Pecker action good for it. I did some peckering on it. She's definitely he moving. Oh that crude. Look at that. Probably work it all the way back one way to the other. That'll do it. Well, I'm very pleased with the way old Krusty Rusty turned out. I ended up getting it broke loose, as you can see where it was here and here where it was stuck. And we got it to run down and went to back it out and I stripped the threads out. But anyway, it's still a super awesome, cool, uh, gonna be a wall hanger. That's what I originally got it for anyway. So I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. And if you can come in real close, you guys can see here. It says J.H. Road Special, J.H. Williams and Company, warranted, made in the USA. And it's got a WB mark here on the handle. But I'm really pleased with the way this thing turned out. And at the end of this video, I plan on putting a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. That way you can see where it started and where it goes or where it ended up. So anyway, I plan on putting that bad boy right up there above my sign, and that's where she'll live for as long as we have the old shop. But I'm real pleased with it. So the vinegar and salt trick definitely worked. But anyway, you guys have a great one. Try a cool project like this. Let me know how it turns out for you. As always, guys, if you like it, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down here below, and we'll catch you next time.